I'm going to show you the best loadout for Star Wars Squadrons. This thing is absolutely overpowered. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned because this is going to be great. What's going on guys? My name is Gray and welcome to my channel. Before we get into the best class setup, I'm going to show you guys a few little clips just to show you how overpowered this is. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be getting kills extremely easy. So I'll see you after these clips. Vanguard 3. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to show you how OP this is because I'm telling you, you're going to be getting kills extremely easily and I suck at this game, but I can get kills very easily. So we're going to get into the class setup right now. I'm going to show you guys, it works both on the Republic and the Empire. I'll show you both my setups on what you need to use and then give you a little bit more details. So make sure you stay till the end of the video. That way you get all the information so you can absolutely go and wreck everybody that you go and face. Hi, put myself over here so you guys can see. But anyway... The two things that make this thing absolutely OP are the missiles. So getting into the class setup, first off, I didn't change anything on the primary weapon. These lasers are already perfect, so that's not what we're going to be focusing on. What makes this loadout overpowered and why it's the best is the missiles right here. So the right auxiliary, I'm going to go into first, then we'll get into the left one. The, on the right auxiliary, you want to have the quick lock missile. This does 375 damage, but this one's more of just to get your opponent's flares off of them. So there's different things that you can use as countermeasures in this game to get people off of you, such as the gas behind you or the projectiles that go and lock onto missiles. So whenever you are going to attack against somebody and you use a missile, they're probably going to use their flares, right? So you use this first missile, the quick lock missile, to get them to use their flares while that missile is locking on you then go ahead and lock on with your cluster missile this will shoot a maximum of four missiles depending on how long you let it lock on to your opponent for it'll shoot four missiles at your opponent and it does 450 damage with each missile so that is the strategy as you guys saw in the clips while i was doing that in the beginning i'm going to show you guys again right here so as you can see i use the first missile to lock on which is going to be the square lock on 
And while that is happening, the green diamond tracking is locking on with the cluster missiles. And then I'm able to take out my opponents very easily. Now, in some of these clips, I was trying to not use my lasers as much to show the, the missiles. But obviously, you want to use your lasers too because they are very good as well. And it helps take down your enemy shields while they are trying to freak out about your missiles. And combining those two things together, you'll be able to take out your opponent very easily. So those are the two main things that make this thing absolutely overpowered. But I'm going to show you guys the rest of my class on the A-Wing and then go over to the Empire side to show you guys a little bit more about that. So make sure you don't click off just yet. On my countermeasures, I just have the default one. It's just the Seeker Warheads. This is what I was talking about with the flares, the intercepts, or missiles that are locked on. For my hull, I actually use the dampener hull and you take a little bit less max health, but it takes enemies a lot longer to lock onto you with missiles. So you're actually going to stay alive a lot longer, be able to outmaneuver them. And then because you already have the speed with the A-Wing, you can get around behind them and use your double missile to absolutely wreck them. So for my shields, I have the scrambler shield on and this is just really great for keeping people off of locking onto you. So you can just maneuver around some cover and then come back at them and hit them with your missiles. And the final thing on this loadout is my engine and I am using the micro thrust engine. It gives you a slower max speed and acceleration, but you get faster turns so you're able to keep people in your sights, lock onto them with your OP missiles and kill them before they can really do anything. Like I said before, on the Empire side, I use the Interceptor, so I'm just going to quickly go over this because I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. I just want to give you that good information and then have you guys on your way to go play this game and absolutely wreck people. So again, I didn't change the primary weapons. Those are already fine. They're, they work just great and paired with the OP missiles that I'm about to show you again, they work even better. So first off, you want to go again and start on the right auxiliary. This is your fast locking missile that again, you're going to shoot at them first to take the, down their flares. Then you're going to use your left auxiliary, which should be targeting on through the entire time. You want to try to shoot all four missiles if you can, and then that will absolutely obliterate your opponent while you are shooting a few lasers at them, and you could take them out pretty easily. On my countermeasures, I'm using the sensor jammer, and that just makes it harder for people to actually lock onto you. All locked on missiles lose you as a target, and no one can lock onto you for a duration. So once you guys are like in trouble and a bunch of people are locking onto you, use this get out of there, maneuver away, and then you'll be good to go. For my hull, I'm using the dampener hull, and enemies take longer to lock onto you, but you have less hull integrity, so you're only losing 10% health for making people not hit you, which I think is a great trade-off. I would highly recommend you throw this on your TIE Fighter as well. And finally, we're on the engine. I use the twin propulsion engine, and this thing just allows your acceleration to be zooming, so you can just escape people, fly by them, lock on with your missiles, and then dip out of there and get onto your next target. That is the best loadout for Star Wars Squadrons on both sides, the Republic and the Empire. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do me a huge favor and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And please do me a huge favor by clicking the video you see on your screen right now. I'll see you guys later. Peace.